Okay, so different location, not different um, address. <laughs> you know, different location in my house, not like at my, at my cousin's or house or anything like that. And I was like, kind of awkwardly, but uh, reading recommendations. Um, yeah, different kind of video, sort of, sort of, kind of, sort of. Uh, no new books to show. Now, unfortunately, couldn't go today because the books didn't come in in time for me to go. It was, I mean, probably could have. It was 3.30 when they came in, but, hmm. One of them is one that I was, I was glad I didn't have last time. I didn't get, I didn't get last time. Um, I should have read that Superman. One of them is that Superman book. And I should have been reading that, but whatever. Alright, so this first one is Ultimate Fantastic Four. Conveniently, con coincidentally, the last one I had read. Um, so I was getting, like, I was binge reading, basically. Uh, this one I had to read the last three of, and it was a pain in the ass. This book is not good. I don't know if it just gets better as it goes along. I've heard it does, but this is a slow, slow start. And once it gets to where it's supposed to be, supposed to be, once it gets to where it's going, you don't care anymore. I'm just like, I'm, I'm burned out. Like, if I had, if I had been, been read this, like, all six issues, I probably would have given it a 2.4. Or, no, even, even lower. Uh, I'd give it, like, a 3. It's alright. If you really, really want to know what Ultimate Fantastic Four is all about, then read this. And, like, like another reviewer said on Goodreads, um, it did kind of remind me of the 2015 movie in more ways than one. Because it follows a lot of the same story beats of how they, um, uh, how it starts out, like, him, show, him showing Bentley's contraption he has, and showing them as kids, and then, they, like, and then it goes to a science fair, and then there's also teleportation. Um, and then they, 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 actually, this one's different because they actually like it. But I guess I don't understand that. Like, it's a just cool-ass invention, and they're like, that was this night to Harvard. And then this one, they're like, let's go to Harvard. It's even better than Harvard. I still kind of, like, scared that I'm talking too loudly, but I'm not, because I'm, like, like, I, I can have the TV on, and they won't hear, unless they have the speakers on. So yeah, this one, it's also, it's so much dialogue. Like, Brian Michael Bendis is known for doing that, but this was back when he was good. This wasn't in his Superman days, this, is what it's, this was in his Ultimate Spider-Man days, and that's a damn good series. And it's also when this was coming out, so I don't know what the hell happened. Maybe he doesn't, maybe he doesn't like Fantastic Four as much, and Marvel was like, you know what? You did awesome with uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, so do the same for Ultimate Fantastic Four. And what really is weird is that, so what's really also, it's also weird, is that he's also joined with Mark Millar. And Mark Millar is a damn good writer. He wrote Kick-Ass, Old Man Logan, the Ultimates books I'll hopefully be getting for Christmas. I'm gonna need that Ultimate Universe, you know, it's Ultimate, same, same, yeah. it's in the same universe. But yeah, this one, I just, so much dialogue, it's a pain in the ass to get through. It made 20, it made 20 pages for like 40. Slow start, slow burn book, and that's not what a Fantastic Four book should be. And had it had I had that been my first book I had read, would have hated it. And yeah, I understand that they're trying to like, because this is the ultimate ultimate universe was for those who didn't know anything about the characters, so, you know, fresh start, all that shit, um, and no connections. So it was basically a different universe, basically like like how Spider Verse. There's different universes in that movie. Um, that's kind of how that was. Exact exactly how that was. Um, next one, I might stop reading this series after this issue, I mean, this issue after this book, I'm debating it, because this is just, it's weird, it's confusing, but not the good kind of confusing, and it's, it's, it's lost its luster, like, I, I, li I really liked the first volume, I think even after the first volume, I was scratching under my nose, I think even after the first volume, I was like, yeah, this is not for me, um, it's not for me, but this is getting kind of, Mediocre, and this was just like, eh. And another good writer, Marjorie Liu. It's Marjorie, and I, and I kept saying Marjorie. It just looks weird for me. I guess my eyes are getting all dyslexic. And, and it's Mar Marjorie Liu who brought me that, brought me, brought that amazing X23 book. I mean, yeah, her Dick and Dark Wolverine didn't get the best reviews, and her astonishing X Men also got terrible reviews. Although her um, Dark Wolverine, I don't know if I was looking at the right pen. It wasn't that bad anyway. It was, even then, it wasn't that bad. I didn't even finish this one. I got to chapter four, I think, which is issue four out of five. So I had two issues left, but I was like, you know what? I, I, I have so much shit to read today. I'm not going to bother with this bullshit. 
finally getting into some good books, um, Motor Crush. Okay, so I said good, not great. Um, it started out really good, and at the end it kind of fell apart, and it was like, I don't care anymore. It wasn't bad, I would still give it a 4 out of 5, but, I don't, I don't know, it's kind of lost its steam, so to speak. Still good, I, I still recommend that one. This one was the best of the bunch. This was what I wanted, what I want out of an image book. is a different world, different kind of setting, different from what you're used to from Marvel and DC. And just short, sweet, not short, sweet, to the point, but like there, if there's, if there's, di there's the di only dialogue is, is the dialogue that's necessary. Necessary dialogue, basically. There's no like Brian Michael Bendis speeches that need to go on for ages or anything like that. No, it's short, sweet, to the point. I, I, re I really like this book. I really like got lost in the world almost. And I, I usually don't do. Okay, I usually do do that, but you know what I mean. But this was captivating. So damn good. And I highly recommend this. And it is worth what Brian K. Vaughn and Robert Kirkman were praising about. This one I also didn't finish, and I mean, the condition the book was in. And it's weird because I got this because I remember liking the first issue. And I read it again, and I was like, what the hell was I on? Was I, was I high when I read this? This is not good Deadpool. It's just... Bad Deadpool. <laughs> and that's ironic because that's one of the things he says in the movie. Um, read Daniel Way's run. If you want damn good Deadpool, read Daniel Way's Deadpool. That's what got me into the character. If I had read this and I said, oh, this is the best Deadpool there is, and I read Dan Dan Daniel Way's after, I'd been like, oh, wait, no, it's not. So do not read this. Re read Daniel Way's one. If you really want to read this, fine, but I don't, I don't recommend it. And I don't recommend you get it from the library from Merrimack Public Library, which also gave me another book that was in better condition. This one was also in the best condition. I didn't really notice that when I was doing the uh, overviews. Just, just, lay, just a crease there. And there's some stuff like here. You can't really see it. Um, this one was much better, but not as good. Oh yeah, it's a huge crease here. Uh, it's not as good as... Um, Daniel Way's writing, writing Daniel Way's run, but the Gary Dugan story was really good, and the Brute Force one was pretty good, too. It was definitely, I, I recommend you get this, get this at your local library, and you can, you can pick this up. The only one that you'll be confused with is the, um, the Captain America one, because a character does die, and it's not Deadpool, a character does die, and it's kind of the aftermath of that, and if you don't know anything about that, you might be a little bit confused. That's pretty much all you need to know, because see, Deadpool does keep you, is, uh, catch up to speed. And, uh, although I think it was Captain America talking, that was, basically, Deadpool didn't, it, the issue gets you up to speed. Oh, and there's this really shameless plug for Marvel Unlimited, um, this Marvel Unlimited app, and I was like, wow. It was like, it was Jordan D. White, the D. White is digitally in the Marvel Universe now. Because it was he was alluding to yeah it was alluding to a uh, the first meetup of Captain America and Wolverine which is Captain America Annual Number Eight which is way older than that issue and it was like way back in Captain America Annual Eight Jordan D Wade he's the editor and he still is uh, did these stand for digitally on Marvel Unlimited I was like wow wow like, I don't know why they did that was it it had to have been when Marvel Unlimited was just starting speaking of just starting how long has this video been about only eight minutes. I am sorry I had to do this, but my vision is so shit that I can't see that right here. I can't see the fucking time. And I don't have, like, a contraption attachment that shows it, like, on my phone. I don't have, like, a little contra con Jesus. contraption attachment that shows me the time. And to set a timer would be kind of stupid. Uh, so this one, Captain America, Tiny Hinchy Coats. Now, I was kind of... I mean, if you saw it, you're probably a little you're gonna be a little bit confused. This is not the final digital, I mean, the final digital, the final collection of Tiny Hinchy Coats. It's just the final one that's available right now. They'll be coming out with a new one soon. I mean, not soon, because I think they're pretty caught up. Um, but sooner rather than later, I guess you could say. Maybe 20, definitely, definitely, definitely next year. Definitely 2021. Maybe February, March, I don't know. Um, this one I liked, I mean, I'm starting to see the cracks. I, I just, like, I have no, I have no pl 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 
I have no political bone in my body. None whatsoever. I, my brain shuts off when I watch Fox News, and for a good reason. And, and, and I don't watch Fox News. My parents just watch Fox News for the weather report. That's it. But when they're talking about Trump and everything, or when I see Trump in the, uh, like, in my little news things, the Apple News, I just swipe past it. I'm like, I don't care. I really don't. Like, I'm not political at, at all. I don't care about presidencies and all this shit. Unless, of course, it affects me or someone I love, obviously. But anyways, Captain America, Tanahishi Coates. Um, good. I mean, I get the next volume. Maybe I should go into the, maybe we should get to the, uh, good ones. The good, uh, run. Man, this was a pretty shitty stack of books. Like, and, and all I was, like, really excited to read. They all were, like, are huge disappointments, including this one. Just read Greg Rucka's run. This is, I, I, I want to say this is overrated, because it really isn't that highly rated. I think it's, like, a 3.8 out of 5 on Goodreads, which isn't, which isn't terrible. Yeah, it's close, close enough to 4 out of 10. But it, like a 3.8 in Goodreads speak, so to speak. Um, it, it essentially means that it's all right. It gets good, but not great. Like, don't expect ca high, caliber, high, high caliber writing. Uh, but this one I just did not like. I, I, I liked it most of it. I didn't hate it. I would give it like a 3.5. It was good, but I don't want to see, I, I don't want to read any more of it. It was good enough, basically. But it's Prime Azzarello, come on. That's the best he could do for Wonder Woman. I know he can do better. He's written a damn strong female character in a hundred bullets. But maybe that, maybe because that was his own character, he didn't have to worry about ruining the character for other people. Because obviously, this is not the first Wonder Woman book ever, but it is the first one in the new New Fifty Two series, which, like the Ultimate Universe, was supposed to be. For, except for Green Lantern, I actually heard that Green Lantern apparently isn't. Um, it's also by Jeff Johns, who brought us the amazing Green Lantern run I gotta get into. Um, but it's continuing his run from before New, New 52. But for the most part, New 52 was supposed to, was supposed to, as a reboot. It was supposed to reboot everything, and like, anyone could pick this up. Pick up Volume 1 as their first Wonder Woman book. And not be confused. I wasn't. But yeah, read the first few Rebirth volu volumes. Instead, this is just Monsters Volume Three. Uh, that's that's all the ones I've read, and this is just fables. I'm debating whether or not I should return these. I mean, return. My mom's gonna do everything. She's gonna return the books and get the books from the uh, hold shelf because she's awesome and she comes through for me at the end. But yeah, these two. I'm debating whether or not I should just stop reading them. Not read them. I mean, definitely not this one. This one, I, I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about the Fables, Volume 2, again, soft cover. So it's two with two soft covers and a hard cover. Um, I don't know what it was about Part 2 of that book. I don't know. I didn't really get as much as Part 1. Hey, that's it. And that was a good way of... That was definitely a good idea I had. Because it's like, it's 11.30. It's like 11 o'clock, which I not 11.30. It's probably 11.30 by now. But it's like 11, 11.30 right now. And I did not want to do it in my room where um, everyone's like upstairs in one in one uh, story. I mean, yeah, there was, some, there was someone right above me, but I don't talk that loudly. Um, yeah, all in all, like, I think the only one that I really, really liked and would consider getting a volume two of is Copperhead. Because Ultimate Fantastic Four was too wordy. Monstrous was too wordy, too, and that stupid Professor Tam Tam shit. Although they found creative ways of getting, of, uh, showing, like, the, of getting past that, so to speak. Like, they did it, they did, I, well, give it to them that, give them that, that they had, were more creative with the Professor Tam Tam bits than before. And yes, that is his actual name, or her actual name, she's a fucking cat. Yeah, it's, it's, also, it's also weird, like, it's supposed to have, like, his creatures, it's like, Kind of like Harry Potter, I guess. Uh, New Avengers Illuminati one was just, I didn't, didn't finish. Motor Crush started out good, kind of kind of a lousy end. Mine's like an ending sucks. Copperhead was amazing, through, through and through, all the way through. Uh, Deadpool and Thanos didn't even finish. Deadpool, all of this, this one, I actually kind of liked. That'd be second. Captain America was alright. Wonder Woman was alright. 
and Fables and Mod Chess Vlogger 3. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, gonna finish them. And then, and then we're awful. There's no one that was like, oh, I'm gonna do this one again. Yay. It really just got annoying at the end when I had to read two of them in one, not in one sitting, but in one day to finish it for tomorrow. Even though they won't go off my account until Saturday because of the COVID restrictions, they have to put them in quarantine for four days. And don't ask me why, actually, no, I think quarantine means no one can touch them, not even the librarians. That makes sense. That's what it is. Okay. But do they disinfect them? Because they can't disinfect books. Maybe it's like a... I don't know how they do that. I actually gotta ask them about that. Like, what that... What, what exactly that means. Because it kind of makes no sense if you think about it. You're just leaving it, you're just leaving it in a run for four days? I don't, I don't think it's how coronavirus works. But that's not me. And it's not even them. I think it's just what motherfucking... Uh, what is his name? What is our governor's name? I should I should know this, Chris Sununu. I actually was right about that. I was just like it just it just said the first name that popped into my head, and I was I always think Sununu. I always think of SNU, the uh, Southern New Hampshire University. That's the college I go to. So I always think of that. I guess it's kind of funny. Like I think it's Chris Chris Sunu, Basically, that's what I'm trying to think. That's trying that's what I'm trying to say. But I keep stuttering. But Chris Sununu is the one that regulates all that shit. I don't know. I've heard about the vaccines coming in, and I'm just like, thank God. But I'm also like, hey, this is happening a bit too close to the uh, to when I get out of work for a while. But let's be honest, I'm gonna miss getting weekly comics. So yes, um, so yeah, you'll see. Yeah, so yes, the next video will be a haul video, maybe a quick reading recommendation. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about Animal Man or the. Superman action comics thing. I don't know. Actually, I might finish it by then. I kind of have to because that third one's coming in. Um, but then after that, the li after the library hall will be the week last weekly comics hall. Um, hopefully, depending on how how my dad is about uh, me spending money on the people because I'm almost done with Christmas shopping. I have one person left. He just because what happened was on sa on Sunday morning. Uh, I was I had asked him because I want to know like. I didn't want. I don't want to know what I'm getting, but I want to know that he's not going to give me what he gave me last year, and completely ignore my list and give me what he thinks I want, which is not a good idea because he can't. He can't like go through all my comics, even, even if he were to take a picture of each like my huge ass shelf. I wish it was huge ass. It's a pretty big shelf. A big big ass shelf. Um, you've seen it. It's pretty big, but compared to other people's, anyways. Take a picture of my big ass shelf and all the comics I have. Even then, he would probably miss one, or you know, he, how the hell am I gonna do that? So, but I gave him a list. Is my point. But last year I didn't. I'll give, I'll give him that. But I, just, I told him like, just consult with my mom. <laughs> my mom, consult with mom. No, no. But anyway, so I'd asked him that, and he'd said we're doing we're doing Christmas shopping. You know, you can go come, come with me, but like you're not. And I was like, okay, I'm talking about people, but I didn't want to argue with him. But I hadn't finished with uh, that one final person, so I was like, what the hell? I don't know, we might forget. I just don't know why I can't go on Saturday. Why that's a big deal, I can't go on Saturday, because when I have work. Maybe he thinks I'll forget or something. Which I wouldn't forget. If I have a huge-ass uh, bag of comics, or Newbury comics, I'm not going to be like, Huh, that's weird, I have a lot more comics than I had before. I hope there wasn't something else I had to buy for people. Meh, nah, whatever. Like, I won't do that. Obviously, I'll see the bag. And I'll, no, like, I'll get in there. Obviously, I know what I'm doing. Not that forgetful. I am pretty forgetful, though. It's forgetful and forgettable. It's a big difference. Forgetful is your forget everything, and forgettable is basically some of these comics like, what? It's fucking weak. I forget that I read that Deadpool thing. That was when I see it. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember reading that. I liked it. I'm taking way too long. I'm sorry, you guys. I have 20 minutes, actually. I thought it was more.